Oh, it's recording. Yes, Nicholas. Is it starting? Hey, Phoebus. Hey, Phoebus. Hey, what is happening? Back at it again, Evan Savage. Shut up! Like, why are you talking? <laughs> Guys, your jobs mean nothing. Guys, this is it. Like, this is all. This is all you should be worried about. Nothing else. I'm sorry, but you all suck. <laughs> you guys suck. That good. Like, you guys aren't good enough to be on Broadway. <laughs> so why don't you focus on everything now? <laughs> Well, it's not really like my favorite because like when you look back on it, it's funny, but um, every time like he scares me, it's not nice, <laughs> but it's funny. Uh, when we were in the dance room and somehow we had like an arm wrestle competition going and Daniel called Phoebus out thinking that he could whip him. <laughs> and yeah, Mr. Phoebus with about every kid in tech theater around absolutely destroyed Daniel in an arm wrestle. And uh, what's the capital of Thailand? I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Bangkok. Bangkok. So I thought it was like really awesome that he was like, hey, I'm not going to send you your book until you get everything right. <laughs> and so I, I really, I thought that was great. Thank you for that. I guess when we started going to see shows together a lot, like whether it was high school or Broadway or whatever, because I like when we have conversations, like, okay, so what did you think about the lighting for this? Or like, what do you think about how they played this or whatever? And I like having conversations like that, because I feel like it's a way that we really bond and it's something that we have in common a lot. And I think it just helped our relationship grow a lot closer. It was on my last show of Saturday Night Fever, like when he was standing up and like clapping for all the people bowing. I'm pretty sure he does that every show, but I've never really paid attention to it because I was so busy focused on dancing. But the idea that he stands up to clap for every actor is like really cool to me, and I'd never seen that before. The last show I ever performed. His so. memory is when we had the haunted house, and it was like my first thing ever doing anything with Peter. And I remember I was like Rosie, and this little girl like went through and she spit in my face so I got really mad and just like spit back at her but then I was really worried he was to get really mad at me so I went up and I told him like hey like this girl spit in my face and spit back and I thought he'd get mad because of the theater reputation so I didn't know how theater really worked yet but he was just like uh, okay and like laughed about it so I say that's my favorite just because he's so chill and I just didn't realize like how he was yet so my favorite Phoebus moment I guess was probably when we were like finishing sets for Legally Blonde and it was like 2 a.m. Oh. and it was like me, you, Phoebus, and I think you, Talika, because that was all the people that were here. And I was just cussing up a storm because it was 2 in the morning. Oh, the trash can, because he just pushed it across the stage and watched it slowly fall. Nobody yeah, moved, and the trash can just fell. And then everybody got to clean it up. Advice. Oh, everybody, no, that was four people. And four people, and I was one of them. And then, like, everyone just watched it go, doo, doo. we saw it, we knew it was coming, it went, dee, 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 oh, dee. Oh, <laughs> When he told Ivan to speak English, oh my god, that was so cool. Um, so, Phoebus tried to walk up the stairs, and he was kind of like Daniel, except he just fell. And it was great, because the, there were some people sitting in the audience. It's gotta be when he fell. Like, that joke was just so funny. I missed that. Very funny. He was in the theater working on the set for my ballet. He was at the top of a ladder that was landing on a rolling set piece oh, and it God. rolled away and he just went down with the ladder and I think that was the funniest thing in the entire world. You just came out here and attacked me with scissors. I'm gonna make a complaint. Um, he wanted me to pick up a bumblebee. <laughs> Phoebus, you're great to me. I have no complaints. <laughs> I don't think I have any because like, it, I mean, to me, like it's all been, it's like, it's all been great. I feel like what he's doing is awesome and perfect, you know? Yeah. Like everything always ends up working at the end, so does he really need advice? Yeah. yeah, when you're out here doing donuts around the trees and a gator, that thing does not turn like a car does. He's doing what you're doing, I guess, because something's working. Because <laughs> like, I don't... Yeah, I mean, obviously we have one of the best theater yeah. like, programs. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you're drinking, keep drinking it. <laughs> Starbucks coffee. Yeah. Drink something else. On <laughs> oh, such a hard day at work. Oh.
<laughs> yeah, drink drink water for <laughs> once in your life. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, keep doing what you're doing. Like, don't try to kill anyone either. Like, sometimes the freshmen deserve it. But... <laughs> yeah, I'd say the key thing. Don't throw those. That's just mean. Delaney still tells me of the time you threw a stapler at her, <laughs> which <laughs> I think is just pretty mean. So, yeah, maybe stop throwing things and control your anger. Take up, like, baseball or something. <laughs> throw things then. To keep, um, to keep motivating the people like me who didn't think that they belonged. Oh shoot, that was good. Oh, my advice is to stop being mean to me. I mean, I want to be a teacher and granted it's for elementary school, but I learned what it's like to have a safe place in the school environment. And so like rather it be, whether it be during lunch or like any time during the day, Husky Help or a class we skip, we just kind of go to the theater. And it's just a safe place because of the environment that he's created. And so I hope to be able to do that in probably a more appropriate, less texting roasts to students away. What did I learn? I learned how to be very sassy to people. And I learned that I'm going to have a hard time in college because I like to eat food during dance numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that uh, I can overcome my fears because I hate being on stage and like people looking at me and you believed in me so I can do it and that was really cool. She got me on that. Do you have a funniest? <laughs> to like, um, like come on my shell and um, not be afraid to like be my own person and have a lot of confidence. I learned to just be yourself and like not to worry about anything. When you're in the theater and with Phoebus, he just like, just did whatever. Um, I think I learned just like, to like put it all out there and like not be afraid and to just like really embrace performing and like being yourself. Hi, Phoebus, I want to thank you for um, putting your confidence in me and letting me be in this theater department and helping me not only grow as a performer, but grow as a person. And yeah, I really can't thank you enough. And you're gonna get annoyed with me because I'm gonna come visit a lot. So, hope you have fun. Thank you, Phoebus, love you. Um, the last thing I ever said on headset was when he, when we were done, Josh closed the curtain, I said, hey, Phoebus. And he said, yeah, I said, thanks for everything. But I don't remember what he said back. Wow. Thank you, Phoebus, we love you. Thank you for allowing me to just come into this theater family and making me feel accepted and enabling me to find a whole new group of friends that I love so much that I wish that I knew sooner and just appreciating theater and letting me like give it a shot. Thank, thank you, Phoebus, Phoebus we, we love you. you. Um, so thank you for being so endlessly welcoming and genuine to all of us um, and for creating such, um, like, such a positive environment within the school that we can go to whenever we want. And it's just been so nice to be in theater and feel that sense of comfort um, just with everyone around. I don't know. I also feel kind of safe when Phoebus is in Yo, the Phoebus, movie. thanks. We love you. Uh, thank you for pushing me to do what I love because probably if it wasn't for you, wouldn't I be going, you know, all the junk for musical theater. But also, you're stuck with me for four more years, so what's Gucci? Thanks, Phoebus. Love you. And all the things that I've done without you, like, telling me like go do this and I was like I can't like, just <laughs> um thank you for that and like making theater a place where we can call home because like I would have never thought I would have been in theater I never like a, I never even you're like came our theater here. dad yeah yeah and then when I came in here it was just like I couldn't go like I could never leave so it's not goodbye it's see you later mm -hmm. thank you Phoebus I love you uh. They're not it's, final. They're not, yeah, I'm they're gonna not be final. back. I'm they're gonna not be, I'm final. Gonna be, Are I'm you gonna be, kidding me? I'm gonna be the next. Uh, oh, Fred and Sturman. Don't say that. Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, I'll come back to see all those shows. Yeah. Because he always does amazing work on them, and I want to see the rest of the shows. So I'm definitely gonna be back here to check out the shows, and I just want to thank him. Yeah. For thank you. Giving like taking a chance on me. It sounds like so fake, but like legit. Thank <laughs> yeah. you so much. Yeah. Like high school, the high school sucks. High school sucks. The theater, theater changed all that. Yeah. Like, that was awesome. <laughs>
Thank you, Phoebus. We love you. Thanks, Phoebus. We love you. Thank you, Phoebus. We, we love, love you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I love you. Thanks, Phoebus. I love you. Thanks, Phoebus. We love you. Thank you, Phoebus. We love you. Thank you, Phoebus. We love you. I've never hated making a video for you more. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. <laughs>